Shadow Puppets lesson with Miss Foley. So in this video, we're gonna see how we can create some shadow puppets for our shadow puppet play. And we're also experimenting with light and shadow in our art, exploring different materials and techniques, drawing with a reference image, and telling a story through art. These are the materials that we're going to need. So some cardboard or a sheet of paper will work too. Your shadow just won't be as dark. A pencil and a marker. Some wooden sticks, you could even use a pencil or a straw. Some tape, some scissors, and a flashlight or other light source. So you could use a lamp or you could use a phone. So pause here and go collect the materials that you will need. For your shadow play, you will have one to two characters in your play. So to start out, you're going to draw an outline of one of your characters on your cardboard or sheet of paper. So I'm going to draw a dinosaur. And what I'm doing here is I am drawing some simple shapes in order to create the body of the dinosaur. So I'm just drawing a light oval shape for the body, uh, same thing for the head, and then a triangle shape for the leg. And once I have that sorted out, I have those simple shapes, then I'm going to start and do a little bit of a darker outline. So I'm gonna wanna think of um, a few things when I'm drawing my shadow puppet. I want to think how this is going to look if it doesn't have any details. All that the viewer is going to be able to see is just a black shadow outline. So it needs to look like the animal or type of character that you're trying to draw just by looking at the outline. So don't draw on any details uh, on your drawing, just the outline itself. So here's an example of what I'm talking about. So with this example here, it's a cat, but I think if it was a, a shadow puppet, it would just look like a blob with two ears. Whereas this, the viewer will be able to see the legs, the tail, the ears, and they're gonna know it's a cat without being able to see all those details. So I'm hoping that this is going to read as a dinosaur, even without the eye and some of the other details I've drawn. So once you have your outline drawn, I'm gonna outline it with black Sharpie, and that is just uh, an extra step. It's not going to be visible on the puppet, uh, the puppet shadow, on the shadow itself when you're, when you're presenting the play. And then I'm going to cut it out. So after I have my puppets cut out, I'm going to attach a wooden stick. So it could be, these are just chopsticks, or it could be a pencil, or it could be a straw, or any other type of long stick, a marker. Um, you can always reuse it, just remove the tape. So stick placement is important. Um, because the viewer will see the shadow of the stick a little bit. So I'm gonna try to place my stick over on the side so that it's easier for me to hold and less visible when I'm doing my play. And then I will just tape it down with some tape and now I'm ready. So I've set up a puppet theater, super simple if we aren't able to build uh, the cardboard box theater that I showed in my previous video we can just use a, sh a flashlight on the wall. And it does work really well. You just have a much smaller area for your shadow play. So you can do some experimentation and sort of see what works best. And I also found that I could use um, an object from my home, like a stuffy or this spiky plant thing, and it turned out pretty cool as well. Mm -hmm. 